The Lord be with you. And also with you. My brothers and sisters, this is the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to St. Matthew. Jesus stood before the governor, Pontius Pilate, who questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? And Jesus said, You say so. And when he was accused by the chief priest and the elders, he made no answer. Then Pilate said to him, Do you not hear how many things they are testifying against you? But Jesus did not answer one word, so that the governor was greatly amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, the governor was accustomed to release to the crowd one prisoner whom they wished. At that time, he had a notorious prisoner called Barabbas. So when they had assembled, Jesus said to them, which one do you want me to release to you? Barabbas or Jesus called the Christ? For he knew that it was out of envy that they had handed him over. While he was still seated on the bench, his wife said to him, have nothing to do with that righteous man. I suffered much in a dream today because of him. The chief priest and the elders persuaded the crowd to ask for Barabbas and to destroy Jesus. The governor said to them in reply, which of the two do you want me to release to you? And the crowd answered, Barabbas. Pilate said to them, then what shall I do with Jesus called the Christ? And the crowd said, let him be crucified. But he said, why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder. Let him be crucified. When Pilate saw that he was not succeeding at all, but that a riot was breaking out instead, he took water and washed his hands in the sight of the crowd, saying, I am innocent of this man's blood. Look to it to yourselves. And the whole people said in reply, his blood be upon us and upon our children. And then he released Barabbas to them. But after he had Jesus scoured, he handed him over to be crucified. Then the soldier of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes. They threw a scarlet military cloak around him. Weaving a crown of thorns, they placed it on his head and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him and mocking him, they said, Hail, King of the Jews. They spat upon him and took the reed and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of his cloak, dressed him in his own clothes and led him off to be crucified. As they were going out, they met a Cyrenian named Simon. This man they pressed into service to carry his cross. When they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gall. And when he asked if he had tasted it, he refused to drink. And after they had crucified him, they divided his garments by casting lots. And they sat down and kept watch over him there. And they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him, one on his right and the other on his left. Those passing by revealed him, shaking their heads and saying, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself you are the Son of God. Come down from that cross. Likewise, the chief priests and the scribes and the elders mocked him, saying, He saved others, but he cannot save himself. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will then believe in him. He trusted in God. Let him deliver him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the Son of God. The revolutionaries who were crucified with him also kept abusing him in the same way. From noon onward, darkness came over the whole land till three in the afternoon. And Jesus cried out in a loud voice, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? 
Immediately, one of them ran to get a sponge. He soaked it in wine, putting it on a reed, gave it to him to drink. Wait, let us see if Elijah comes to save him. But Jesus cried out again in a loud voice and then gave up his spear. And behold, the veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. The earth quaked, rocks were split, tombs were opened, and the bodies of many saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming forth from their tombs after his resurrection, they entered the holy city and appeared to many, the centurion, and the men who were with him, who were keeping watch over Jesus, feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that had happened. And they said, truly, this was the Son of God. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ.